That French chef of yours is really something. Where is she, by the way? Juliet, she's taking a holiday, and everyone at GBH is waiting for her to come back. Any tiny hints you can give me about what you're thinking for season two? She needs to be re-inspired and reinvigorated so she can come back with fresh ideas. Hello, Kansas City! Julia's got a much more complicated relationship with France because it's her history. It's where she changed from a housewife to a professional. Maybe if we went back to where it all started. We start in Provence with working on the cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking Part 2. She has this moment in the first episode where she eats a really exciting new dish that blew her mind. Oh, it's delicate. Light as a balloon and entirely new. She became obsessed with recreating it herself. Well, that's disappointing. It is a life-changing moment for her. And that's how we launched the season. Now you lost your mind. Yes, what if I have? All these people come together, and it's a little bit of a Midsummer Night's Dream, a summer night with love and <laughs> food and magic. All of these extraordinary people having this chance to feast at the table of life. <laughs> and then we went to Paris. It's alive, it's thriving. Filming in Paris is Kind of like filming in New York, you could point a camera anywhere you want and you're gonna see something glorious and fascinating. Beautiful countryside, stunning buildings, a real love and respect for art and for food. You <laughs> little, little hot chocolate mustache. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> We're into that mid-60s where everything in the world is beginning to change. I want to start taking more control over my life and not just making accommodations for other people. In terms of food, in terms of marriage, in terms of social and political changes in the country, in terms of feminism. And this is by women, for women. Russ, and he's got the opportunity to create this docu-series. Vietnam, we inform. You decide. It's exciting, but also it's nerve-wracking. Taking on subjects of this magnitude, I want to get it right. Success changes you, failure changes you, everything changes. Julia can't stay in the same place, because if, you, if she stays in the same place while the world is moving forward, she's moving backward. Hunter wants to do something called product placement. I'm not a salesman. I'm a teacher. Julia is really inspiring because she's a woman that is standing in her own power and strength. She's not trying to be anybody else. She's authentically herself. Life doesn't come to you when you're six foot two and look like me. GBH, people feel their jobs are on the line to come up with another hit. Alice brilliantly orchestrates getting Julia into the White House for a White House special. The real White House special that Julia made did win an Emmy. It was a, it was a big deal. None of them thought that this middle-aged woman talking about cooking would be the thing that brought GBH national recognition. She's getting opportunities to go bigger and expand. Russ has the opportunity to realize his dream. There's really compelling plot points. While well, you are working on the details of this one show, I'm tasked with saving the entire station. Season two, it's got more of everything, specifically with Paul and Julia's past and their involvement in the government and some darker chapters that get explored and finally revealed. The heart of the story is Julia's enthusiasm for life, second chances, the idea that you can make something at any point of your life as long as you throw yourself in with all your heart. You feel as if the story is all around you. It transports you and it's magical. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a show to make.